everyone, this is Jonathan from Guitar Player Academy, and today we're going over Uptown Funk by Mark Ronson featuring Bruno Mars. If you like tutorials like this, please like and subscribe to the channel, it really helps a lot, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. So, the main song is really broken around two chords that happen in four different sections. It's all the same chord, it's played a little differently throughout it, but it's all based around these two shapes. So your first shape, just so you know, is starting on the 3rd, 5th, 7th, ninth, 10th fret on the G string. It's a very high voicing. So our index finger is on the 10th fret G string. Then we have our pinky, which is going to bar the 13th fret B and E string. So index, pinky, pinky. The second chord it's based around, exact same thing. You just take this shape, and instead of barring your pinky, take your ring finger and put it on that 12th fret on the B string, but don't move any other fingers. Those are the two chords. That shows up in the chorus in the intro. We will go over that eventually. But just so you know, when we're playing certain sections, that's really all that's going on. So there is no chords during the verse. So we luck out. The first time you hear the guitar player come in is at the pre-chorus. He does something like this. It's during the, in the police and the fire, man. I'm too hot, hot damn, that section. All we're doing, again, basing around this D minor shape, is we're taking our index finger on the third fret and just kind of hammering on to the fifth fret of the A string. Three, four. And we're hitting this. A good amount of number of times, but we're just subdividing. That's all we're doing. So if we take it really slow. I like to slide down too. You can also hammer on three, four, five. Get funky with it, get expressive. But as long as you land on that fifth fret on the A string, you're fine. So we'll try with another hammer on. Same type of thing. And that's it for the pre-chorus, that's it. So after the police and the fireman, too hot, hot damn, that section, we go into what I refer to as the climb. All it is, again, still just off this D minor. What I'm doing is I'm playing D octaves. So starting with my index finger on the G string, I have it on the third, fifth, seventh fret. I am muting this B string. I'm not playing this B string. I'm just using my index and kind of gently laying over kind of the fat of my finger over that fret. That way, uh, nothing rings. But then I'm pressing down with my pinky on the 10th fret of the E string. And it's just an octave. So what I do is I'll just take this shape with this, this one, two, three, four fret span and move it up. I'll move it up all the way until I get to my last D octave down here, way up, way up in the, in the stratosphere. But all I'm doing is just keeping this shape and on upbeat. So like we talked about in the last video that you can reference where we go over one, two, three, four, uh, 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 and we keep going up. Only rhythm that kind of changes is I use a pickup, excuse me, and I move into that last D to, to give it a little punch. But it's the same shape all the way up the scale. So you want to start on the seventh fret, and you want to end on the 12th, 15th, 17th, 
19th fret with your index. Now, the most recognizable part of the song is the chorus slash the intro. Um, I put those two together because they are the same chords. It's, we already learned them. It's these two shapes that we went over at the beginning. It's just those two shapes at the beginning. It's only the guitar. So if you're playing in a band situation, you will be the one starting off the song. And we're going to start that comp. We'll do it slowly. Um, that way you can kind of pick up on the rhythm. And then we'll talk about the chorus. It's again, the same thing, but it just ends slightly different. So I'll demonstrate it and we'll break it down. So all I'm doing is I'm sliding from, if you have your index finger on the ninth fret, very quickly though, you do not want to be caught on this chord for long because it does not sound good but it's a great pickup. It's important to note that my right hand keeps going, especially if you have a wah pedal. It's great to just have that waka 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 waka. Funk is a cool thing where they really don't mind if you're kind of motorized in this style of funk. I am lifting my right hand a little so you're not getting all the time. You just hear it every once in a while as a pickup. But that's the intro and the chorus is the same thing except eventually it's gonna move from that type of breakdown. So it's the same thing, except when I'm ending this part of the phrase. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm just doing that. I'm just literally counting the three and then hitting it with that original shape that we talked about. So we'll do it slow. Go to the ending now. One, two, three. Two, three. Two, three. You'll just comp that until your band or the recording moves on. Now, the breakdown is, is very, very, very similar to the chorus. Um, it happens right after the chorus, um, and there will be a total breakdown of the band, and it's just the bass or if you have a keyboardist uh, doing that low section, um, it's just that. Eventually though, uh, you will wanna come in and it's for about four bars uh, or four phrases, I call it, right? It's three repeats of the same phrase and then the fourth time is just that shape that we know. So it, it looked like something like this. One, two, three, four. just watch oh back into the chorus so as you saw it's just the same shape slightly different comping i'm not syncopating it as much i'm not it's very much kind of like a james brown type feel i'm just kind of letting my right hand I almost act like a motor and i'm going back down to our verse that we talked about same exact thing, except I'm just doing it a little quicker. I'm not repeating this multiple times. I'm just kind of using it as a hammer on. So three, five on the A string. Look, it's the same shape that we used on the chorus. It's 
So really slowly, we'll do it one more time with the breakdown. It comes in about halfway. And eventually after doing that for three times, you'll just, but I'll demonstrate that. So first let's chunk it into the first half here. change don't believe me just watch oh into the chorus so that fourth time all you're doing you're not you're not going down you're just don't believe me just watch oh and then you go right back into the And that's it. That's Uptown Funk by Mark Ronson featuring Bruno Mars. If you found this tutorial at all helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. It really helps out the growth of the channel. And remember, keep on shedding and keep coming back because we want to make you the best guitar player you can be.